Today I'm going to tell you about the nominal function in Excel and how you can use it. So to start, I'm going to tell you the definition and what the output of the nominal function is. Second, I'm going to break down the formula and explain each of the parts of how you use it. And third, I'm going to show you an example for the nominal function. So to start, I'm going to explain the definition. The nominal function returns the nominal annual interest rate given the effective rate and the number of compounding periods per year. So the formula you use for the nominal function is equals nominal and then parentheses effective rate comma number per year. So now to break down the function. So to start, the effective rate is the effective interest rate that is given to you and number per year is the number of compounding periods per year which you are also given. So next I'll show you an example of how you can use a nominal function. So in my data set I have an A2 the effective interest rate in A3, I have the number of compounding periods per year, which is four. So my formula, I type in equals nominal, then parentheses, I type A2 comma A3, which is referencing my effective interest rate and number of compounding periods per year. And I hit enter, and the result is 5.25%. Now you can change this to a percentage or you can leave it as a decimal, whichever you would like. I hope this helps you understand the nominal function.